Whoa. <laughs> Good lord. I'll grab it in just a second and I'll show you what I got. You saw my molten gold when I put it and I shaped the my I'll show you now that was just a rain effect what I was doing I think I don't know that you saw where I was actually like filling in the lines behind the erased images so I'm gonna scale down my display here put it let me drop it below every come on don't do that let me drop it below there. Alright. Well, I don't need that. Alright. Got it. For the most part. Display capture. There we go. Oh, it's way off. and go here Bloop. all right so let's open up go to Lincolnati you probably can't see my drop down stuff but I'm opening up a piece where's that sample sample file go big go big or go home here we go. Let me look and see if you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, good. You can see what I'm seeing. All right, I'm going to make it bigger. And uh, see, it molded all the layers together. So this may not be a good one. Let me go ahead and open another one up. Oh, you can see it. Wow, you can see it on Twitch. You can see my drop downs. Okay. You can't see it on the other ones. That's just bizarre. All right, so, uh... Can you fit it? Oh, sometimes it'll get up in my lap. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, good. We have it here. So I have the liquid metal floater, and I have it designed already. It's, uh... You can see it off to the side there. Um, on my uh, color wheel, below the color wheel on the layer levels, I have that liquid metal floater. So what I can do... What I... What... I would do like I'm not pleased with the way that the uh, reflections and the uh, oh there's a name for it the refraction I'm not pleased with the refraction right now with that so I'll uh, I dig it I don't I'm gonna change it up okay so what I'll do is I'll create a new layer I'll go to layers you see in the drop down let me wait for a second see if it shows up and it does okay down at the very bottom is dynamic plugins dynamic plugins okay, keeps dropping I go to liquid metal it's going to create a new layer okay Bloop. I've already got gold fixed on the color wheels you can see it's uh, where the circle is I'm pleased with that color now I want to ensure that that color is there it's showing up as gray okay boom I got it so I got that as my color let's make it a little bit a little more bright I want a little more bright a little more bright I want it bright like that. Yeah, that's where we want it. That's that's the kind of gold I want right there. All right, so I've got my settings. I got size, spacing, volume, and smooth. Now I don't know exactly what all of these do, but the smooth certainly lends to a like a smoother top layer texture. So I'm gonna go up to 100 with it, or there we go to 100. The volume is at 100% spacing. I don't know what that means yet, and I don't know what size means yet. I'm sure there's somebody out there that does. Refraction. I'm going to increase the refraction to 25%. All right. 
Okay, now I have it, right? So I pull this out of the way. Or I, I hit OK, rather. Or do I do that now? No, I, I do it later. So I'm on that I'm on that layer, so I can follow it around, right? And then, so the I'll increase the volume around that leaf, and I'll increase the volume around this leaf. I'm not happy with the way it pulled that color away, that uh, that brightness. You you want that brightness on top. So I'm making these little blob shapes, right? I'm having to do this with a mouth, so it's it's uh, kind of problematic. I gotta go kind of slow. I'm on a track wheel. And then I go down and I chase. Watch out, he can get nippy. I'm okay. I chase that line. Boom. So that gives it that effect, right? And then I come here and like this, and I'll go down. Now, I don't know if you can do this on other programs. So I'm doing it here on, this is, uh, this is Corel Painter 2019. Let me run this line. And so it gives it that really thick effect. I guess you're why I can't see what your chat's saying right now. I mean, I guess I could on my my other monitor, but give me just a second, and we'll talk. All right. So the, you see how I did there? I got it all mapped out. That's where the gold's gonna be. I saw your most your mo Okay, you, you haven't said anything. All right. So okay, I'm okay with that. So I hit okay. Okay. So it created that digital floater whatever so I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna compare it so I go underneath the parchment because it's layered underneath and there you go that's my new gold layout I actually like this one better than the one I just had right so I'm pleased with that like, that looks pretty golden <laughs> and uh, or is the opacity right because I don't see it there at any rate um, let me turn this off. Yeah, there it is. That's way more golden. I like that a lot better. Okay. So I got I turned off the, the eye and you can turn it back on. And it well it enhances it a little bit having them layered over the top of one another. Cause this stuff, the opacity in the in liquid metal floater layer three is a little bit more translucent. And then you can add that. Or take it off. Add it. Take it off. Um, it looks a little pretty white. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do that. It just gives it that, that little subtle flavor, flavor to it, you know. So that's what uh, that's what I'm doing. Now this is great having this up. And I can you know use this later on today whenever I get into pigments. What I'm gonna do is 